What's up guys? This is Citrus here. Happy Dawn Trail and I hope your adventures in the new expansion have been awesome. Today we're going to be looking at the newly introduced FSR and DLSS options that have been added to Final Fantasy XIV. Which one you should be using and the strengths and weaknesses of each. How to improve and fix DLSS as well as add quality options and use DLAA instead. We've come out here to Lakeland in Kalusia which is one of the best places that I've found to test the anti-aliasing that DLSS and FSR provide. As the trees and foliage out here have always had this awful shimmer effect to them, that the default uh, FXAA that we've been stuck with since ARR gives us. But uh, looking at the image here, we can see currently I have DLSS enabled and there is zero shimmering. It's completely fixed. Even everything in the distance looks nice and crisp. Shifting over to FSR upscaling, uh, which allows us to use the new uh, anti-aliasing option that was recently added, TSCMAA. At 100% resolution, you can see that the trees become, well, quite shimmery. It goes back to that almost FXAA shimmeringness that we've been accustomed to already. And the overall image is even just very noisy. If we turn down the resolution scaling to anything below 100, which is actually what enables FSR, uh, you can see that it becomes, well, really over sharpened and it makes that shimmering effect just stand out even more. If we come down to the ground here and take a look at how each upscaling method is handling the characters and details, we take a look at my Chocobo buddy here. With FSR turned on, you can see he's very detailed, but he's still a bit over sharpened. Turning FSR to a 100, which turns off FSR. Note, if you want to just not use any upscaling, you need to use FSR and then set your resolution to 100. And that will get you back to the way the game was previously with no upscaling. Uh, you can see on my Chocobo buddy here that it's... It's a bit smoother of an image. Now switching back over to DLSS, you can see that the details are still there. They're nice and crisp. They're not over sharpened like the FSR implementation is. And overall, this is my preference is to have DLSS on. However, there's a few things about DLSS that you need to know. Firstly, I've heard a lot of people say that DLSS has given them some issues. Blurry graphics, broken anti-aliasing, and some other strange graphical glitches. To fix this, you'll want to first make sure that you have updated your graphics driver, which was updated to support DLSS with Final Fantasy XIV. Then it's a good idea to download the latest version of DLSS, which at the time of this video is 3.7.1. You can find this on the Tech Power Up website here. I will provide a link below. Now this is a trusted source, but if you're worried about the website and any viruses, make sure to do your own research. There's tons of sources out there that'll tell you that this is a trusted place to get the uh, DLL file. After downloading the zip file, you want to take the DLL that's inside the zip and place it in your Square Enix Final Fantasy ARR game folder and overwrite the existing file. Now before anyone asks, this will not get you banned. It's perfectly safe to do. Now, for some users, that's going to be all you need to do. However, if you would like a bit more control over your DLSS and wonder why there's no quality option presets in the game, like quality, balanced, or uh, performance, I've got you covered. Head on over to the DLSS Tweaks page on GitHub and download the zip file there. This will give you the option to use different quality presets as well you can just disable the upscaling portion of DLSS and use the DLAA, which is the best anti-aliasing uh, option that you're gonna have available. Now, that's gonna do it for our video covering FSR and DLSS. I hope you have an awesome Dawn Trail. Toss me a like, a sub, I'm out.